Welcome to Keys TV News. I'm Kate Troy. And I'm Alex Varley. Today is a day to remember who gave us the freedom we have as a country. Antonio Hunter has our Remembrance Day report. Here in the North West, students can join the University Officer Training Hall to learn the way of life in the Army. With both physical and theory-based training, they can prepare themselves for a career in the military. This could mean becoming a member of the infantry, the RAF or even the Navy. It's the hidden backbone, if that makes sense. We're always there to help out when needed. And I think it's not just the fact people see, see it as a fighting force. and it's, It does do that, obviously, but I don't think that is what people in the Army join to do all the time. We also join to help the communities and things like that, so it's, it's definitely not what it says in the tin, it's a lot deeper, which people don't really realise a lot of the time. A few of our very own soldiers from Lancashire regiments have fought in Afghanistan. Some have worked closely with civilians and training the Afghan army, whilst others have been in bomb disposal units, helping to create a safer and happier place for Afghanistan's people to live. To say you've actually been to a war zone, you've actually been shot at, been blown up, and is it makes things that more um, prevalent to such a realistic because you've actually been there. Broughton House is home to Salford's ex-servicemen and women. I left school at 15 and a half and I joined the Navy at 15 years and 10 months. Jeff Starr was a prisoner of war in Japan at just 18 years old. The celebration days and remembrance days and the poppy days to help to keep it alive. Remembrance Day encourages us to celebrate the lives of those who have fallen, to take a moment to think of those who are fighting and to respect the ones who are the future of our British Army. Antonia Hunter reporting for Keys News. During September the 11th this year, the Manchester Dogs Home was set on fire, killing 60 dogs in the adoption unit and injuring many more. Photographer Colin Bolter with his team of volunte volunteers and owners of ex-Manchester and Cheshire Dogs Home have spent the day in Tatton Park shooting photographs of the dogs' very first Manchester and Cheshire Dogs Home's 2015 calendar. To do this, I jumped at the chance. Um, and what I've actually been amazed about is everybody who I've mentioned it to, the people who are just so enthusiastic to get involved and help out. It's amazing. I mean, you're talking about a dog loving country, this really, really, really is a dog loving country. It's absolutely unbelievable the goodwill. The dogs have been chosen. The dogs are actually ex rescue dogs, so the dogs were actually in the dog's home at one point. We've even actually got one of the dogs called Sandy that was actually in the fire um, in September and, and, and escaped, obviously, from the fire and is now in a good Home. In entertainment news, celebrity juiced host Keith Lemon stopped in Swinton for a bang tidy book signing. Here's Kimberly Harrison with more. From entrepreneur to TV host and now a children's author, Keith Lemon does not stop entertaining his fans. I'm here at Asda Swinton for Keith Lemon's book signing, and people have been waiting around for more than two hours to see him. Are we ready to meet him, guys? <laughs> His children's book, The Elephant and the Beaver, based on himself and Alan Carr, was released alongside his autobiography, Little Keith. And there were plenty of little and big Keith fans ooshing with excitement. So guys, how excited are you today to see Keith Lemon? Very excited. He's so funny. He's amazing. Just to see him. Uh, through the keyholes, our favourite programme. Absolutely fantastic. I'm a big fan of Keith. Um, watching celebrity news through the keyholes, so it's really, really funny. Being the Keith Lemon super fan I am, I decided to sneak into his green room for a little chat. So Mr Keith Lemon, you're a presenter of Celebrity Juice and through the keyhole and you're always so spontaneous on telly, so what has inspired you to sit down and write a children's book? Um, a lot of my friends have got kids now and um, it's my gift to them really and um, the fact is that kids are, you know, they're the next generation, so it's nice to be able to educate them on things like do not swallow chewing gum because it clogs up your arteries. Um, when you go on holiday, put plenty of sun cream on, and also if you receive a One Direction duvet cover and you're not into One Direction, just go, oh, it's nice. Hello. The showman strutted out to the excited crowd in full festive force. But instead of staying behind the desk, the crazy comedian made extra time for his fans in true Keith Lemon style. 
Oh, just loved it. So excited. Amazing. It was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, well worth the wait. Yeah, well, I followed him from the start when both selectors started. I just love him. I've always loved him. He's brilliant. He's just had fun here. The way he gets away with stuff, I don't think anyone else would get away with anything like that. Great. Yeah, nice to meet him at last. We'll watch him on telly, don't we? Kimberly Harrison, Keys TV News, Swinton. And now it's time to speak with our film buff, David, who's going to be giving us a full-blown review on this week's film, Mr Turner. So, David, what have you got for us? Well, Mr Turner is uh, Mike Lee's new film. There's a couple of people thought it might be the end of him after the UK Film Council was abolished, but it's not. He's back, and he's, this is his passion project, 15 years in the making. So, Mr Turner is um, a film about J.M.W. Turner, the um, Victorian-era painter and it sort of follows him. It's over the last um, 25 years of his life, so it explores some of his sort of later paintings, what he did. You see him getting tied to a, um, a boat mast and things like that, sort of exploring what makes him tick. But it's a really warts and all um, portrayal of him. You know, you see him sort of uh, disconnect from his family. You see him really sort of disown them. So it's, it's a very interesting and perhaps a very truthful um, portrayal of the artist. So it explores his sort of later years going to Margaret. It explores his relationship with his father, and it shows sort of his disconnect between the sort of the art world and the, all his um, eccentricities. Yeah. So would you recommend this to other viewers, maybe? Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the central thing that I think is really terrific about this is um, Timothy Spall's performance is absolutely terrific. He won the um, Best Actor award at Cannes. It's a really terrific performance. Just the way he controls his face is absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Good, mm -hmm. and so is any favourite part of your film there? Um, and there's a really sort of weird scene where they're all sort of all these art critics are talking about gooseberries and Timothy Spall is <laughs> just right there, he's up okay, here, just this real grunt, but Thank absolutely terrific British yeah. film that everyone should go and see. Thank you very much there, David. Back to do, uh, Alex with the news there. Thank you. Now, too many people, too many young people need weight loss surgery. That's according to a report from the National Bariatric Surgery Register. But even though the surgery is cost effective and improves the health of patients, a non-surgical initiative for students called Healthy Lifestyles Fortnite has been launched by the University of Salford. Students are making a pledge to eat healthier and look after their well-being. In return, they receive a goodie bag and free activities, including cookery workshops and exercise classes. Students will feel supported and be able to start to embed some healthy habits. Um, coming away to university can be quite difficult, particularly at this time of year. The assignments kick in, maybe if you're a first year, your support networks aren't around you, the things that you ordinarily would do. Um, so we're hoping that students can get involved with health in different ways than they might ordinarily. And if they get involved with three out of the four themes, then they can um, put a loyalty card in with a chance to win a bike. And now over to you, Joey, with our full sports roundup. Thanks, Kate. It was another busy weekend in the football calendar, and FC United were in action against Witten Albion. They put their shaky league form behind them with an emphatic 4 0 win at Boa Fold. United started the game in bullish mood, and it took just three minutes for Matty Wolfenden to open the scoring. FC doubled their advantage just two minutes later with a contender for goal of the season. United picked up the ball in their own half and quickly burst forwards for Wolfenden to cap off a superb team move. United made it three goals in nine minutes when Luke Ashworth connected with a Jerome Wright corner to head home. Wright then turned from provider to scorer, firing from the left-hand side of the box to make it 4-0 and cap off a superb performance for the Reds, who move up to sixth in the table. Elsewhere, there were varying fortunes for our non-league clubs. Chester pulled off one of the shocks of the first round of the FA Cup by beating Southend 2-1. Salford FC lost their second consecutive game as they slipped to a 2-1 defeat to Clitheroe. Ashton United won 3-1 at home to Barwell, while Drawsden beat Lancaster 2-0. There was a 3-1 win for Kerr's and Ashton against Kings Lynn, and Trafford fell to a 4-3 defeat to Grantham Town. Mosley lost their third consecutive game, falling to a 3-0 defeat against Darlington 1883. Stockport beat Brackley 2-1, however Hyde were beaten by the same scoreline against Gainsborough. And lastly, Staleybridge drew 1-1 with Oxford City. Remember, you can keep up to date with all of Saturday's football as it happens on our new live blog service, Sports Live, which can be found on our website. Back to you, Kate. Thanks, Joey. Don't forget that as well as delivering our live news coverage twice a week, you can also visit us online. Yes, that's right. Go to keysnews.net to find our latest reports, news and sport coverage. You can also stay up to date through our Facebook page where you can comment, like or share any of our stories that you see in today's programme. 
Now, whilst Kimberly was having her excitement in interview with the remarkable Keith Lemon, she was bold enough to challenge him to one of our own wacky games. Originally from his ITV2 show, Celebrity Juice. Let's see how Keith did when Keith's news gave him a taste of his own witty medicine. Juice. Keith, I was going to play one of your famous Celebrity Juice games. What's that? The one that's um, not the celebrity opposite game. Basically the game where you have the name opposite of what's on my sheet, okay? Let's give it a go. So the first one is the Mild, mild Boys. Mild Girls? Mild, um, go, uh, Mild. So you've got Mild Boys. Girls. Spice Girls? Yeah, well done. And Girl Area? Boys on. Yes, boy zone. Yes. Next one. Coldplay. Coldplay. And then the final one is a bit of a trick one because it's about a news station that you know very well, Keith. Are we ready? It's Locks Radio Old. Locks, Keys, Radio, New, Keys. Keys, what's opposite I'll give you a radio? clue. The word for radio is TV. TV. Keys TV new. Z. Oh, is that what you'd like to finish for us with Keys? You're very good like Jamie Feigston. Keys TV news. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> and thanks, Keith. And now we're over to the weather with Joanna. After a wet night and morning, today will remain cloudy and damp with further outbreaks of rain that may become heavy later on in the afternoon. It will continue to be quite windy, especially along the coast. However, temperatures may reach even up to 12 degrees. Wednesday morning is looking similar with persistent rains all throughout the day. This should ease slightly by the afternoon. It's expected to be less chilly than in recent nights. The weather should be turning dry on Thursday, but the rainy, miserable and perhaps thunder weather will unfortunately stick with us for good. Frequent showers and noticeable cooler temperatures are expected to remain all throughout the weekend. Our own cars in Manchester say there isn't enough provision for parking. Well, this in-car, Follerfield, was found stretched over the pavement causing a hazard by blocked access to a nearby takeaway. The car was found just after half ten last night and the owner was fined by Greater Manchester Police. They also sent a public tweet shaming the man that caused a bit of a debate on Twitter. And that's all from us here at Keys TV News. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Keys News, online at keysnews.net and on Facebook. See you on Thursday for all the latest at 1.30pm. Thank you and goodbye.